Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to look at the production of x-rays in the x-ray tube. Remember our consultation line is 0704-153-366. Subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link with your friends. Therefore, in the production of x-rays, which is done in the x-ray tube, we have the main features of the x-ray tube displayed here. Therefore, we are going to focus on the main features of the x-ray tube. And as you can see on the diagram, we can see there is a voltage supply and we have part R here and part R, as we are told to label it, you can say that part R is the cathode. So this one is a cathode, which is metallic. Then we have a heater filament. So the low voltage supply brings current to the, car, to the cathode. And we say that uh, when electrons in the metal surface of the cathode get heated up, they gain a lot of kinetic energy and they become excited such that at a given temperature, the electrons will break off from the metal surface of the cathode and we say thermionic emission has taken place. Therefore, the process by which it is causing electrons to get dislodged from the metal surface of the cathode is called thermionic emission. So the first process here is thermionic emission. Thermionic emission, which is the dislodging, thermionic emission, the dislodging of electrons from a metal surface due to heat. So when thermal heat is supplied by the current in the heater filament, we have electrons dislodged from the surface of the cathode. What we should know is that on the other side, generally this part is called the copper anode. This is the copper anode. So the copper anode is usually connected to the positive terminal of the extra high tension, such that the extra high voltage provides a very big potential difference between the anode and the cathode and such that the anode is in the positive terminal of the extra high tension, such that now, because it is in the positive potential, then it is going to attract electrons. So we can say that the role of the copper anode is to accelerate electrons from the cathode to the anode. So what we have here at Q is a target, and the target is made of a material called tungsten. Tungsten. I'll be mentioning why it is made of tungsten. A tungsten target. So the electrons which have been accelerated by the anode to a metal target, which is made of tungsten, on heating the metal target, their energy is converted to heat energy. Heat energy takes 99.5 percent of the energy possessed by the electrons and x-rays takes 0.5 percent of the energy therefore 0.5 percent of the energy in the electrons becomes x-rays and the other part of the energy which is 99.5 percent becomes heat energy therefore that is why the material making the target has to be tungsten or another metal called molybdenum the two are preferred due to the eye melting point. The eye melting point ensures that the two metals are able to withstand the great amount of heat. 99.5 of the energy becoming heat energy. It means there is a lot of heat which is being produced at the anode. Therefore, the target has to be very hard so that it doesn't melt due to the excess heating. Again, we can see that the anode generally is made of copper. So the copper anode ensures that the excess heat can be dissipated. Yeah? The, the anode dissipates, dissipating, it dissipates heat. Dissipating is conducting away. Therefore, the heat is conducted away by the copper anode. And again, apart from the anode being made of copper, then cooling in the anode is also enhanced by having a circulation of oil, in and out, we can see oil circulating, so oil, absor oil absorbs the excess heat. 
and again we can see there are cooling copper fins so these cooling pins the, the cooling fins are also made of copper so they are copper they are copper fins so the fins again help to conduct it away so the excess heat is conducted away by the copper anode the oil circulation and the copper fins they all aid in the circulation of or in the in the dissipation of the excess heat which has been produced so apart from that we can see the shielding here we have a shielding the dotted shielding is made of lead so this is lead shielding the shielding is made of lead because lead is one of the high density solids which ensures that in case we have stray x-rays which are not formed at the desired angles they can get stopped or rather they can get absorbed by the lead shield because if we use a material of a less density then they can penetrate through and you know x-rays are some dangers when exposed to the to the skin of man therefore we must be having a shield and to ensure that the shield is reliable we have to use a high density material which is lead therefore the reason why lead is preferred is due to its high density such that it can absorb stray x-rays again the reason why the target Q is made of tungsten or another material called molybdenum molybdenum it is to ensure that they withstand the great they can withstand the great heat which is as a result of the conversion of the energy in electrons to a very small percentage becoming x-rays and a bigger percentage becoming heat energy so that is how the x-ray tube functions thank you for following subscribe and share this link with your friends